could encounter a short term increase, but. Engineering? Morning, Betty. What, right now? Building 36? I didn't even know there was a building 36. Must be important. Everyone's here. We got propulsion, aerothermal, flight dynamics. Anyone know why we're here? What is this? Good morning. We're going to create America's next spacecraft. It's going to launch like a rocket and land like an airplane, and it's going to be reusable. Can you a rocket? It's not a rocket. It's a shuttle. is to work and live in space. This vehicle has to do something that we have never done before. Perform four key tasks and be able to do them over and over again. There is nothing easy about putting a ship back up into space, let alone a whole fleet of ships. But first, let's talk about the launch. We have never designed engines and vehicles that can be reused. But we will, and once we're in orbit, we go to work. We want to take all kinds of cargo up there in addition to the people. Science labs, satellites, even the space station. And when all the work is done, we gotta bring everybody back home. All right now, the country's waiting. We've built ourselves a space shuttle. But we're launching one spaceship on the back of an even bigger one. What if we split the booster into its pieces? Hmm? Rockets, fuel tank. It's supposed to be reusable. How do we get all those parts home? What if we just throw the fuel tank away? <laughs> plane ticket home. A blade of heat shields are heavy, and they burn up on re-entry. We need a more reusable solution. Silica foam tiles, thousands of them. Fit it together in one lightweight, reusable heat shield. <coughs>
you feel? I'll let you know. When they come home. The hazardous message said you go forward this morning on a daring enterprise and you carry the hopes and prayers of all Americans with you. And astronaut John Young, the commander of the mission, replied, that's a right fine speech. We sure appreciate it.